The Nashville Municipal Auditorium was a night of crazy finishes for XFC 26. Night of Champions number three. Two championship fights on tonight's card. Michael Chavello, Pat Militich with you. What a night it was. First of all, Lewis Sapple Santos, a man who in three previous fights had finished his opponents in an average time of 34 seconds, had another crazy first round finish. Check this out. The head kick to start it all was brilliant, Pat. Now the release on his legs is so fast and unbelievable that you cannot fight a guy like that and not have your hands next to your head at all times. Justin Davis getting pounded out within seconds of the opening round. Next fight, Emerson Ribeiro, training partner of Sapo Santos, also did the job in the first. He beat Jason Hicks. Emerson Ribeiro wanted an ugly fight, wanted to put the muscle on Hicks. Hicks, the technician, trying fancy stuff, and got him in trouble. Emerson Ribeiro with career victory number 25. Then the women's flyweight title was on the line. Courtney Casey and Pearl Gonzalez. Casey came in the favorite. Early on in the fight, she received a groin strike from Pearl Gonzalez that the referee didn't call. She was none too happy about it, later arguing with the Tennessee Commission. Courtney Casey went for sub after sub, but it was Gonzalez who eventually subbed out Casey to win the championship. Let's take a look here at the groin strike that no one noticed. Yeah, right on the pelvic bone. It's gonna hurt no matter whether you're a guy or a gal. That is a painful spot to get hit. But Corey Casey did look good in the first two rounds, had a lot of submissions. Yeshia there complaining to the commission afterwards. Courtney Casey, none too happy. Then in our main event, the lightweight title was on the line as defending champion Scott Holtzfors, Holtzman 5-0, took on the leprechaun Roger Carroll. Holtzman again, a flawless performance pack, his ground and pound, his kicks, his hands, his elbows, and a massive, massive cut over the left eye of Carroll. Yeah, Roger Carroll absorbing a massive amount of damage in this fight, but Scott Holtzman showing that really for the amount of fights that he has, his composure and his technique is well beyond that. Holtzman goes 6-0. Who can possibly stop this absolutely rampaging machine of a lightweight champion? Pat, for me, the highlight here tonight, though, once again, had to be Luis Sapo Santos. As I said, previous three opponents finished at an average of 34 seconds. About the same here tonight. His legs are so quick. Now, with the amount of fights he has, and the athleticism that he has, his kicks are sick, sick. Folks, we've got plenty of action coming your way here on Access TV, your home for MMA. Next weekend, we're in Des Moines, Iowa, Resurrection <laughs> Fighting Lines 10. Uh, yes, then it's Muay Thai action in Las Vegas on November 1st. Melipet Sassabrapa takes on Fabio Pinka. Legacy Fighting Championship 25 on November 15. And then the Moon on Bell Classic is 1 p.m. Eastern on November 16. One of the oldest rivalries in American sports. Division 3 NCAA College Football. DePaul University versus Wabash College. All on Access TV.